Hello guys, welcome back to Johnstrom GIS. So today we are going to look at normalized difference for built up index so that we can determine areas that have buildings from those that do not. And the formula for that is uh, we are going to use Landsat 8 that takes band 6, we subtract band 5 and then we divide by band 6 uh, plus uh, band 5. So from this you can see that the band 5 is the near infrared. Uh, while the band uh, 6 is the short infrared one. So with these two bands, we will load these to our arc map and then we can uh, start. So in my case, I'm going to use uh, Nairobi. So I have my shape file for Nairobi City. And uh, with this, I'm going to use this shape file so that I can find the built up areas that fall within this shape file. So here I've loaded my bands. This is my band 6, Landsat band 6. And these are Landsat band 5. And with these two, I'm going to use them so that uh, we can visualize this. So with that said, we are going to use the formula uh, we just generated. So the first thing we need to do, we are going to open the actual box. And under the spatial analyst tools, you can see uh, under the map algebra, just double click. So with that, you're just going to enter the formula, just enter float. This is because the values you're going to deal with are decimal points. So that's band 6 minus band 5. And then let's divide that by float again. We're dealing with decimal points, band 6 plus uh, band 5. That said, let's save this to our folder. And I'm going to call it NDBI. And then just save that and click run. So this said it's going to run and it's going to generate uh, uh, ranges of values that from high to low. And the higher the value, it means, uh, it means that uh, those areas have a high density of buildings. And the lower the value indicates that those are the regions that uh, have no buildings in that area. So with that, may, with that said, uh, the process is, is done. And with that, I can just uh, remove the band 5 as well as the band 6 and now we have our let me close this actual box and now we have our NDBI this is the normalized difference for the built up uh, areas index and you can see that uh, the, the weighted the, uh, the, air, the region that means these the regions that are built up and the darker the areas it means that those are the regions that do not have any buildings so to better visualize this we are going to create a different uh, a different uh, color ram. So I'm going to right click on this under properties and I'm going to go to stretched. Under stretched, I'm going to select a, a color ram that has maybe yellows and uh, browns. I like, uh, let me, I did find one here that actually does a very good uh, visualization. So I'm just going to apply that and you can see this, you have a very beautiful visualization with uh, the dark, uh, the brown parts being the built up areas and the yellow parts being the non built up areas. So with these are visualized areas within this uh, city that have buildings and those that do not. So since I'm interested in um, only my area of interest, I'm going to clip this. So I'm just going to go to search and I'm going to uh, type clip. Sorry, just uh, hit enter. So under data management, because I'm also dealing with the raster, um, I will input the raster, that is the NDBI, as well as the output extent, that is Nairobi. I need to choose the exact uh, geometry of the shape file, and I'm going to save this to my geodatabase as a NDBI clipped. So that said, click save and just press run so once it's done running we can change the color the color ramp again so let me just uh, switch this off and then right click on these properties again let's choose a, a better color ramp I'll go with the yellows and browns again i will apply that and i'll press ok so that said you can see this is a very beautiful visualization uh, people, someone can be able to understand that uh, uh, browns indicate uh, built up areas while the yellows indicate uh, non built up areas. So that said, guys, give it a try. And if you are stuck or need uh, ask, have any question, be sure to comment in the comment section below. 
uh, support our channel, like this video, subscribe, and share. Have a wonderful day.